Shut up, Saxton. The following is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring, accompanied by Big E at a combined weight of 417 pounds. The SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. The New Day. You eat your booty O's with like almond milk? Well, of course, I have a sensitive system. Well, Michael, say it with me. New Day Rocks. New Day Rocks. Get it, Biggie. Accompanied by Braun Strowman at a combined weight of 519 pounds, Uncle Howdy and Bray Wyatt. Take a look at this team, completely on the same page. Such incredible teamwork they've shown. I can't wait to see them compete. Representatives of the New Day out here for this match. New Day loves to have fun, but guys, this is a tag team that could easily be considered one of the greatest of all time. Especially when they get rolling in the ring. New Day loves to pick up the pace, get the action going, and get the crowd pumping. Absolutely, Bob. And you can bet they'll try to do that here in this one. That'll either wake you up or knock you out. On the button with a low drop kick. Beautiful gator roll. Great way to disorient your opponent. He's lost some of his win now. Boom. Big boot. Kick right on the ear connects. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Oh, man, by the skin of his teeth. Gee, what a way to make us sweat. Crushing double stop. Enjoying European uppercut. Into a perfect drop kick. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Xavier Woods in with the tag. Oh, jumping knee strike. Lights out. Tag is made, and here we go. Dominating cross body. Ooh. He's taking it in here. He's got him. Kicks out after one. Wow. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. And that DDT was well delivered. Oh, oh jumping knee strike. Lights out. together a new game plan now. Oh, 
position to be in there. Will Xavier put it away here? like that he said crashing to the floor he may get the three count right here i think so he breaks the reps count after one still gonna take a massive effort to keep him down big knee to the midsection Take a look back at some of the great action. Here are your winners. Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. The New Day. Kofi Kingston leads the team to victory. And if I'm in the tag division, I'm hoping with all my heart I don't come across these two in the future. Alexa Bliss is here. One of the most accomplished competitors in the women's division. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Bray Wyatt from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. One of the smallest competitors in the women's division, but she matches underrated power with hard-hitting, high-flying attacks. Lots of titles and main events to back up those claims. We are about to see five feet of fury unleashed. And that is bad news for Alexa's opposition. self-proclaimed scourge of the women's division. A mix of gothic charisma and cold-hearted fury. And representing the Faces of Fear from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport. Well, Blair Davenport has said yeah. that she's not here to impress anyone but herself. She might not want to hear this then, but she's been impressive thus far. Talks a big game about her wickedness, ferociousness, and willingness to do whatever it takes. You're right, and she backs up everything she says as soon as the bell rings. Yeah, a woman with a dark side, but a very bright future. of Bliss in action here tonight, guys. We've noted it before. You cannot let Bliss's diminutive stature fool you. 
Yeah, there's a reason she's been known as Five Feet of Fury. She's looking at it early. Kicks out. Not the worst idea going for a pin there, but it's close. Stalking a downed opponent in a vicious boot. And another. Oh, what a knee. Oh, no. She could be caught here. Bad situation for her. Guillotine. It's in deep. Is Bliss going to tap? Is Bliss going to... Utilizing her power. Hoping to escape, and that'll do it. Bliss gripping the neck into the STO. Oh, snapping the leg in. And again in the other direction. Basement drop kick. It's hard to tell exactly what Alexa Bliss is thinking when she looks at her opponents like that. Impressive reversal there. Reversal on top of reversal. My goodness! And all over the place. Here's what I want to see from Blair Davenport tonight. Ruthlessness. She needs to unleash her most sadistic attacks. That's how she'll get this. It could be over here! This is it! The kick out of only one! Wow. I thought for sure that was it. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Blair can't seem to get out of harm's way. There is no scorn like that of an angry goddess. Oh, from behind, that'll give you some whiplash. Davenport's plans for division domination clearly being challenged with that. Yeah, that patented mean streak of bliss absolutely shining through there. Dominating shoulder tackle. Insult to injury. She covers for the pin. Now is a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. Here is your winner, Alexa Bliss. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. The dead man has returned. The entire WWE Universe is in absolute awe. What a moment. The following is a triple threat. Hell in a Cell match. Making his way to the ring from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds. The The creatures of the night are out in full force tonight. Representing an unbreakable bond that the dead man has had with the WWE Universe for over three decades. I've seen this walk for 25 years, and I'm always in awe. The Undertaker transcends eras transcends sports entertainment. A true phenom in every sense of the word.
three decades of dominance. The dead man's wrath is unending. An unspeakable reign of terror over the WWE. This is the moment where there is no turning back for The Undertaker's opponent. Welcome to damnation. And his opponents, first from the bottomless pit, weighing in at 260 pounds, the Boogeyman! Saxton, my sources tell me that after the match tonight, Boogeyman's going right back under your bed. Oh, no, he's not. I'm locking my door. food stores you go to? Absolutely not. Just unfathomable dangers dwell within Bray Wyatt. And it seems as though Bray has slowly been losing the battle to contain that danger. Yeah, that's a frightening thought for the entire WWE Universe, including Wyatt himself. It's really hard to know what to make of Wyatt. There's a darkness at work here. A darkness that has swallowed Bray Wyatt whole.
The time is almost at hand. Bray Wyatt is about to deliver a reckoning. Hell in a Cell matches tend to bring out the worst in a superstar. This match may well change how you see The Undertaker, Boogeyman, and Bray Wyatt. In this business, there are few words more intimidating than Hell in a Cell. Ominous does not even begin to describe the feeling in the arena right now. These superstars are about to go to war. No, no, no. Now possibly set up for a submission minute. Oh, this one should have been over, but he breaks the hold. He got whipped into that corner. Compromised position here. Upside down in a tree of woe. And now in the most dangerous area inside the cell. He grabbed the chair. Oh, now would be a good time to run. It truly cannot be stressed enough. Hell in a Cell is a match where you simply have to adapt to your environment as quickly as humanly possible. Or inhumanly possible, with the demand. Good point, Corey. Trying to work the same match as you would any other night. It would simply be a fool's errand. Caught in a bad position here. Snake eyes! He's ejected from the ring. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? Oh my gosh! The universal signal for extreme. The kendo stick has entered the fray. opponent too. That was awesome. Now do Saxton. Ah, uh, leave me out of this. And now he's making the upset up the cell. Why? Well, I'm not so sure he knows what he's doing, guys. Who are you to question him? Here he goes, right on the side of the cell. Making it look easy. It's time to text your friends. Something good's about to go down. Take a look. Get the cord. He's reached the peak. What is he thinking? 25 feet above the ring. This has catastrophe written all over it. This is too much, but I can't look away. Ooh. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. Ooh. He's returning fire. In terms of worst ideas of all time, fighting on top of the cell is right up there on the list. You can just feel the imminent disaster in the air. Well-delivered suplex. We knew this was going to be a vicious match, but these superstars are taking it above anyone's expectations. Proving hell doesn't need to stay in the confines of the cell. Shot and slamming their face down. This is beyond dangerous. This is more than reckless. No one should be up there, let alone performing these maneuvers. Doing whatever it 
takes. This is going to be great. Boogeyman. Is it enough to overcome Bray? Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Suplex. Do you hear the WWE Universe? They are ravenous for these guys. Oh, now we can be caught here. Bad spot for him. This won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal. And he breaks the submission. Some worms hoist it up. The boogie slam. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Back elbow smash, nothing fair. Boogie man with his grip since still. Somehow took down the Undertaker. Right to the leg. Someone get the EMTs ready. I just know this isn't going to end well. Precariously battling 25 feet up in the air. You know me! What's coming next? Taking their time. Every fall on top of the cell is like quick. Say goodnight. I'd be running if you had to take a look at me like that. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. And he got in there. I thought that was it. You and me both. to be showboating right now. 
punching their way out of that one. Unloading with an uppercut. Guys, he clearly has no regard for his own well being. Gave me the first hit, Byron. Remember, though, in many cases, coming down is the truly hard part. Oof. We've seen the kind of damage that can happen if you fall from up there. I must say, he's got impressive climbing skills. Yeah, you're the best, Byron. Oh, right in there. And the Undertaker got busted up by that last attack. Guys, this is really dangerous. There's no training for fighting on the side of the 25 foot steel structure. Interrupting their climb on the cell, forced to do battle on the side of this demonic structure. One mistake could be your undoing here. Bassing each other on the side of the cell, but to what end? I don't think there's any end, Saxton. I don't think there's an end until someone gets taken out of here on a stretcher. He's all the way up there now. Oh, no. This is where Superstar... Oh, my God! Off the top of the cell. Are you kidding me? That's a human being. He has a family. He has a future. Why would he do that? Let's hope there is no long-term damage, Byron.
misses. The top of the south like walking through a minefield. Boogeyman with his grip sits down. Boogie bomb. Boogeyman might have just finished things. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Hopefully the chain link can stay. And look at this now. Yes, applying the support. And he got in there. I thought that was it. Just tossed. She could airline mouse for that. Oh, look at this. Just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Where do these superstars get the idea to do this? I don't know, but if this is something they dreamt up, I wouldn't want to know what their nightmares look like. Undertaker. What a headbutt. Vicious. Souls are duking it out at the summit. <laughs> Undertaker. Ooh, elbow strike. Uh oh, from way up high. <laughs> you could hear the chain link fence buckling with every impact. This is too far. This is not necessary. Don't do this. I don't like this scene at all. This is too far. This is not necessary. Don't do this. I don't like this scene at all. Oh my gosh. Chuck Slam from the top of the cell. Oh no. What is he thinking? Ascending this brutal structure. With a punch. Here we go. He's at the top. You yeah. see that? Yes. An impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Well, I'm not so sure he knows what he's doing, guys. Who are you to question him? Making his way up the cell wall. Apparently, he loves chaos. Well, this looks like one of those last gasp efforts against me. Content for your opponent, you'll do anything you have to to drag him to hell. He needs to be prepared. You're a Nagi! Man, oh man. We knew what we were in for with this matchup, but we didn't think that hell was going to be let loose above the cell.
just how dangerous Hell in a Cell can be. And we're seeing it up close right now. Oh, nothing good ever comes from fighting on top of the cell. position with the desperation jawbreaker. Guys, he clearly has no regard for his own world. He gave me the first hit, Meyer. Everyone in this arena is on their feet. Everyone is holding their breath. How is this going to end? Oh, he could be looking for a submission here. There's a man in the oh, I'm gonna tap out here, but it ain't gonna matter. You still do a lot of damage, though. Oh, this is just terrible to watch. He's in so much pain and can't do anything. Military press! Ooh. And with every step up there, the amount of fear on these superstars increases. The top of the cell is like walking through a minefield. Oh, and a flex! Using the elbow as a weapon. Guys, we can see the top of the cell breaking apart. Somebody has got to get them down. This will win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. Man, oh, break in the eyes. You can hit. The Undertaker scoops him up. just ended this stomp in the leg the sound of this crowd is deafening and he's asking for more Proving hell doesn't need to stay in the confines of this 
himself. Hell can go anywhere. Boom, oh, nice. A nice shot by the end. Could be nap time. I'm gonna tap out here, but it ain't gonna matter. You still do a lot of damage, though. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Oh, it could be night-night time. No, no, maybe not. What a counter. Punch right in the head. 25 feet above the ring. This has catastrophe written all over it. This is too much, but I can't look away. Swinging. Gutbuster. Wait a minute, setting in. He gets there a few seconds longer. And this match would have been over. Oh my gosh, this is making the hit on my neck stand up. A nervous energy has come across this arena as war is waged on top of the cell. This maniac's out of control. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal Somebody do something about this. What's anybody gonna do, Saxton? You go up there and try to reason with him. Shot slam! Landed. Here comes the tonic drums. Uh-oh. Finds a counter for the dead man. Cell break apart, no telling what more can break apart. Now these athletes are taking their chances in a very perilous position at the top of Hell in a Cell. You can sense it. This crowd is on pins and needles. The WWE Universe is ready to rock. Are we close to the beginning of the end? We've seen some battles out in a cell. Nothing good ever comes of it. In terms of worst ideas of all time, fighting on top of the cell is right up there on the list. You can just feel the imminent disaster in the air.
Warriors are going to end up soon. Control in there. Oh, it is aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Oh, easy. We knew what we were in for with this matchup. And now he's looking to lock in this submission. Look at the torque. There's no escape from the camel clutch. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. It's a roundabout strategy, but it might work. Cell, all the way down to the floor. 
That'll change his career forever, Cole. And frankly, it'll probably change mine. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Hell is a mountain, gentlemen, and these poor souls are duking it out at the summit. I'd be running if you only take a look at me like that. He's got something in mind here. I don't think I want to know what it is. If you're looking for danger, you have come to the right place. Amen. I wasn't looking. Popped up. No way. Yes way. What power. Two stone from the Undertaker. Taker just turned his lights out. Feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. And that was a rough landing from that toss. Guys, we can see the top of the cell breaking apart. Somebody has got to get their down before things go south in a hurry. Both arms trapped, and what's next? Ooh, head up from the rear. In terms of worst ideas of all, Boogie Man with his grip system. Boogie Man. This one is all but over. The dead man lining up his next victim moments away. Taker has him up. Here we go. Rest in peace. Taker's about to end another fight. A little showmanship there from the dead man as he tries to get the... Oh, there it is! The man of the claw! It broke in! Yet another big move, guys! How's that for a counter? <laughs> Every fall on top of the cell is like putting your flesh through a meat grinder. And now I don't think Bray can prevent what's coming next. Hopefully the chain link can stand up to this mayhem. This is it. The dead man has him up. Stone Stone Pile Driver! Taker's about to end another fight. Ooh, kick finds it. One of the biggest names in WWE, The Viper. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Bray Wyatt from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 245 pounds, Randy Orton. The Viper won his first WWE Championship at the age of 24, the youngest world champion in history. Such an accomplished career for this young man. But gentlemen, yeah. we know that the Viper is at his best when he hunts alone. Well, he better be ready for a fight because he's in the way of the prize fighter right now. Time to fight 
Owens fight. And his opponent, representing the new foundation from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! A major name before WWE, but now has a Hall of Fame-worthy resume. He's won the Universal title. He's competed in the main event of WrestleMania, and KO still isn't done fighting. Since day one, it has been about one thing, fight Owens, fight. And the time to fight is just moments away. that Kevin Owens is, and some could argue he's... Probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goats curse is in effect. Oh, I can't stand this move. Hi, Colt. Oh, what a great escape. Look at this. Control here with a swinging neck breaker textbook. Caught with a big boot on the mark. Great strength being shown here. Biggest advantage here in this matchup. It's not fancy, but I think KO's ability to absorb a tremendous amount of damage and keep on swinging is going to serve him well in this one. There's no limit to what Owens can endure if he thinks there's even a chance that he can fight his way through it and manage to capture the win. Kevin is just that tough. He's getting a little battered now. Yeah, as you can see, the disregard Owens has for his opponent. The Viper in bad shape here. The toughness we talked about on full display from Kevin Owens here. Backbreaker. Orton playing mind games with the enemy. Oh, he gets what he deserves for all that gloating. Orton able to counter. on the road. Yeah. Vintage Randy Orton. Yeah. Yeah. Life's backbreaker. Orton not intimidated. Not even close. If anything, he's the one doing the intimidating right now, Michael. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Toss back into the ring. Uh-oh. He's one step ahead there. 
Owens finally creates a little offense for himself. Now the chance. Oh, big knockdown, another clothesline. Building momentum. The superstars match to win. Here he goes for the win. And he closes it out. No, stops the count at two. How in the world did he kick out? deserves another look. Here we go. Here is your winner, Kevin Owens! I can't imagine being able to celebrate, let alone stand, after a match like that. Practically an inhuman effort in terms of resilience on display throughout this match. You really have to hand it to them. They earned this victory.
is an Extreme Rules match and is for the WWE Championship. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown, weighing in at 323 pounds, Kane. After rising from the ashes, Kane continues to live a tortured existence and is hungry for revenge. Pure demonic rage in his eyes. Feeding off the infernal flames of hell. The door has been opened. Out comes the darkness. And Wyatt says what happens next, not his fault. We have all watched as Bray Wyatt has slowly spiraled out of control. No, I think this is what was always in there, just bubbling below the surface. Yeah, Byron, but now it is completely taken over. That's what it's all about, the WWE Championship. The challenger wanted this opportunity, now he's got it. Well, it's always fun to go to the zoo until you fall to the lion's den. The challenger had better sharpen his teeth. In an extreme rules match, it's hard to predict what will happen, but there will be chaos, I can assure you of that. A thing I love about extreme rules is we're guaranteed something from out of the blue. Some outside interference, a weapon nobody saw coming, Oh, who are you kidding, Corey? You just love all this anarchy, don't you? Confession. Guilty as charged. Flipping same time. A ah, club with the right forearm. Nice cross body. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Taking flight. Drops the hammer. 
Right on the lower back. And some say the only limit in an ODQ is your own imagination. Right, so Saxton wouldn't stand a chance. For everyone else, though, the sky is the limit. Anything you wish you could do to get a win, you could probably arrange it here. So my advice is to hold nothing back. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. Some good contact by Bray Wyatt. Get the ice pack ready. Ooh. Oh, God. Ooh. Beautiful suplex. <laughs> and he's able to fight Kane off. are down. Barely gets the kick out. How close was that? Bray is waiting. Bray is fixated. And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. He's got it locked in. He may not have a tap out. New champion. I can't believe it. Extreme Rules is not for the faint of heart, as you can see in these highlights. Here is your winner, and the new WWE Champion, Bray Wyatt. A victory worthy of a new champion. Honestly, Michael, there is no way I can think to describe this other than absolute goosebumps. Then imagine how the new champ must feel, Byron.